This is breaking news. Happening right now, the NYPD is holding a press conference to give an update on the double shooting. Officers from the 104 precinct responded to a 911 call of shots fired at 66-17 Fresh Pond Road. Upon arrival, the officers found two females with gunshot wounds. The first, a 51-year-old with a gunshot wound to the head, and the second, a 48-year-old with two gunshot wounds to the torso. Both women were taken to an area hospital where the 51-year-old was pronounced deceased at 11.22 a.m. The second victim remains in critical but stable condition. A preliminary investigation indicates that this began as a domestic incident between the 51-year-old female and a male in the third floor apartment. During the dispute, the 48-year-old second floor neighbor went to check on the third floor occupant. She was then shot and fled back to her apartment. The male suspect followed her and continued shooting. The suspect is described as a 55-year-old male who fled the scene. There has been no arrest made as of yet, but NYPD detectives are currently seeking the suspect. The deceased victim was a civilian member of the NYPD with 11 years of service to the city of New York. The police commissioner and the first deputy commissioner have both responded to the hospital and met with the family along with Chief Ryerson. The family is receiving support from the NYPD Employee Assistance Unit and we are doing everything we can to comfort them in this difficult time. We'd ask that you please respect their privacy and give us a little patience as we continue with this investigation. We can now take some questions. Nicole? Can you talk a little bit about the, how the second victim was shot? You say she was going back to her apartment. Was she shot uh, behind a door? Was there a door involved here? There is a door with damage to it at the scene. We do not have exact information of how this played out, but there are shell casings throughout the hallway and the stairwell. Hazy? Can you please describe the relationship between the shooter and the um, victim who died? As I said, this appears to be a domestic violence incident between the male suspect and the female victim. Any other questions? Do you have a circumstances around it, motive, any idea why this occurred? We do not at this time. All I can tell you is that there have been no prior reports of domestic violence between these people. Thank you very much. We don't know at this time. We're still, uh, other details are still under investigation. Is there Last question right here. Last question. You said you met with the family. Can you just tell us, you know, what they're going through? Just bring us up to speed. They're, they're grieving at this time. I was at the hospital with the, with the police commissioner and the first step. And again, like I said, it's a very hard time for them. And I, we would like you to respect their privacy. A quick follow-up. How does it hit you, the people in your heart, when it's one of your own that's dealing with it? There's no words to explain exactly how, how we feel. We, we feel deeply for the family, and we're there to, to, to support them in anything that they may need. Nicole, can you tell us what type of work she did for the NYPD? She worked for the Information Technology Bureau. Again, Information Technology, out of 1PP. All right, everyone, thank you so much.